Dear Serbian Monophysites, I've been pondering the nature of Christ lately, and quite frankly, I've come to the conclusion that Jesus has only one will, and that is divine. I truly feel that this is accurate. I must get this belief out. We cannot have people believing wrong things. What should I do? Sincerely, Emperor Heraclitus. Eight days later. Well, they didn't respond to me. So, you know, I've decided to take things and matters into my own hands. Why not write a letter to all the plebeians in my empire? They'll believe anything. I'll call my letter the Ecbesis because, you know, why not? A few moments later. My fellow comrades, I have come to the conclusion that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, has one will <laughs> divine. I care so much for you. I cannot have you guys believing in the wrong things. That's why I, Emperor Heracles, have decided to take things into my own hands and matters to impose political power over the Catholic Church. Jesus Christ has one divine will. All right, now go back to your farm's work. I'll do kingly things in my town. Pope Severinus, Emperor Heraclius has just declared in his letter called the Ecclesiastes that Jesus has only one divine will. What? This is outrageous! I will write a letter declaring that Jesus has two natures along with two wills. A good example of the government trying to help but making things worse. Let's go get that letter. Working for Mr. Heraclius was pretty good until he made that new law. I consider leaving secretly since I don't know how he will react to me not accepting his beliefs. Mr. Heraclius, you're a good man with an incorrect belief. Sorry, sir. It's time for me to defend my faith. I'm going to go around the empire telling others the correct belief that Jesus has two natures, human and divine. <laughs> Emperor Heraclius, several of your guards have just seen your servant Maximilian preaching on her feeding what you have been preaching. Oh no, he did it! Release the hounds. When the hounds capture him, send him to me. I'll punish him for being a heretic of my true belief. Guards! Get to the chopper! Oh, get, get to the, the chopper! Torture this hacker. Not important. It doesn't matter until we catch this pleb. Tomorrow. Well, 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 what do we have here? Someone who doesn't change what the church says. <laughs> Take him away, torture him, cut his tongue off. That way he can make those smart aleck remarks. Go guard, take him away. Hmm. All that commotion caused by that man Heraclius. His beliefs are childish and so incorrect. Let's make him know who makes the decisions about the faith. Ha 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 ha! Assemble a Lateran Council of 649 to end this heretic and his beliefs. Mwah! <laughs> Hey, 
Did you hear about our Pope? Pope Martin? No, what happened to him? He got captured and arrested by the guards because he did not accept and he denied Emperor Heraclius' law and the belief of Jesus having one will. <gasps> Dang, this L is bigger than LeBron James' hairline. Better give it to the Emperor. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, what the heck are you doing here? Get out, now! We'll do. But I have a message for you. Oh. My beliefs live on forever. Today is the last day of the Third Ecumenical Council of Constantinople, where Emperor Heraclius' belief that Jesus had only one will is being decided if it's true or false and whether or not Heraclius was a heretic, as the people said he was. Should I mention the works and suffering of Bella Maximus? No, are you crazy? He was a servant of Heraclius. Avoid him at all costs, okay? Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the discussion has come to a conclusion, and monothelitism has entirely been demolished and announced false. Jesus had two wills. Now that's all for today's edition of Keeping Up with the Heretics.